Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing kind of a little mini review or haul, it's a mini haul, of items that made me think about my childhood. So it's kind of funny, um, recently there's been a throwback to either movies or with movies um, of items from my childhood or there's just a love for books and reading for me that make me think of my childhood. So anyways, my grandparents were really great about sitting down with me and reading. In fact, one of my favorite books they gave me was this one, Beauty and the Beast. And so, absolutely love this book. Um, when I was a kid, I would go through it and was just amazed by the artistry in this book. And I would go through it time and time again. And so, um, that's always been a, a favorite book of mine as a child. And so, out came the collection from Lorac with Beauty and the Beast. So I did purchase uh, their lippies, or their lip glosses. I have purchased the blushes, so I can't wait to try those. And then, of course, we have the eyeshadow palette that looks just like a book. And I absolutely love that, the fact that it does look like a book. And then it's got some beautiful colors on the inside there. Next, I will say that um, I came across the Storybook Cosmetics, and they had the Wizardry of Witchcraft, and it looks like a book. They even give you a little bookmark, which I thought was adorable. And when you open it up, the colors here are absolutely beautiful. What's gonna be fun is during the next, um, I think they have two releases coming for summer. One of them is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and the other one is basically a spinoff of, I just drew a blank, oh my goodness. The Hunger Games, which I loved, love, love, love those books also. With the Wizardry and Witchcraft collection, I did get some of these brushes and just absolutely thought these brushes were stunning with the craftsmanship. So I don't know that I'm gonna actually be using these as much as I got these for kind of a collector's item. So in love with those. The next bit that I got that reminded me of my childhood, and we are talking brushes, is the Wonder Woman collection. So I have not taken those out of the box. I'll probably keep these in the box. Again, I bought just as a collector's item. So found those absolutely beautiful. Who didn't want to look like Linda Carter? Oh my gosh, she was absolutely stunning. And so I, I used to watch all the Wonder Woman episodes hoping and wishing that I could grow up looking like her one day and being as strong as her one day. So I actually got a bit of the strength. Unfortunately, I did not grow up looking like her. Um, the next bit I got, I actually got last October, maybe it was September or October, was um, the Elvira palette. And um, I actually purchased one of these for my sister-in-law too. This is from Lunatic Cosmetics Lab. So again, the Mistress of the Night was always fun to watch as a, a young child. Um, I always thought she was beautiful in a scary way. So I did pick up that palette also. And then last but not least, I do have, um, well, hello kids. My pups have come to join me. This was really a throwback. In fact, I went ahead and sent a picture of these to my aunt and she was like, oh my gosh, those are my favorites. So a couple things, I got these little lip glosses in these tins. Totally reminds me of basically grade school or maybe even going into junior high. So these little tins, they slide out and inside the product, and oh my gosh, they smell just like, this one smells just like great Kool-Aid. So I will say if you have any dogs, be careful because my dog tried to take off with my grape one and he made a signature imprint there. And then he actually got a hold of the strawberry one. It's still 
in its package. However, it is a little bit bent and misshapen. So I put these on, or I put on the grape one, and um, totally the same consistency that I remember, the same smell, and I kept licking my lips. Um, it has a slight taste to it. I also got these in the peach and the watermelon. So, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love these little tin glosses. So those can fit nicely in your purse. The other ones I got that totally reminded me of my aunt and growing up kind of trying to follow her in her, her footsteps is these rollerball lip potions. So these were a big thing too to have. And oh my gosh, these are so much fun. Totally remind me again of my childhood. So it's got the little roller ball in there and the product comes out. And if just like if you put too much on when I was a kid, it might slide down your lips. The, um, the package or the consistency is still the same. I've got this and opened up the watermelon one. I was going crazy and then I had it dripping down my face which made me laugh even more because again, it's what I used to do when I was a kid. I just lather them all up so my lips would be nice and shiny and then they drip. So um, if you put on the right amount, like I did right now, they don't drip. But if you get crazy because they smell good and they actually have a bit of a watermelon taste also, um, you will absolutely enjoy these. And I got those two, basically, um, the rollerball and these little tent, tin ones from tentcosmetics.com, and it's T-I-N-T-E, cosmetics.com. So absolutely freaking stunning. They did an amazing job. In fact, their little card says, we've got your childhood covered, bringing back uh, sweet memories, one flavored lip balm at a time and boy have they so i'm really excited about tent cosmetics putting that together and reviving my childhood because i absolutely love those products and couldn't wait to get those back in my arsenal so what are some of the new products that are out that remind you of your childhood or do you have any favorites of times past that the products may not even be out there, but you still love them and have fond memories. If you do have any products that remind you of your childhood, please put that below. I'm dying to hear some of the neat things that you guys remember from your childhood that bring back sweet memories. I do have to say I really love all the med um, cosmetic companies that are kind of going retro and bringing back my childhood. It has been an absolute blast going down memory lane. Um, so thank you very much, but do give me some of your feedback and your your comments on some of your favorite makeup. I, I've just been tickled and couldn't wait to do this kind of mini haul with you and share this with you because it just warms my heart um, to think about the people that influenced me or I used to sit down and watch the shows with. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.